This is the Purr Super Electric Kettle. I'm going to do an unboxing and review for you today. So let's go ahead and open this box and look inside. Looks like it came with a little cleaning tool. And here's the manual. And here's the kettle. Oh, this thing looks pretty nice, pretty sturdy. Looks like here on the top, there's a little handle that pops up, which is nice for carrying. And when you're not using it, it just sna snaps back into place. And then there's this little lid here that we can pull back that covers the hole where you can drink out of. You'll also see some holes for venting. And now we'll just close that lid back up. Let's go ahead and take the lid off and look inside. Okay, so the cord is uh, tucked in there. Let's take that out and take it out of its plastic bag. And we'll set that aside. Okay, let's take a closer look at this cleaning tool that it came with. So the green handle just slips inside of this white plastic piece. Pretty nice little cleaning tool for cleaning the inside of the kettle. Okay, let's put the lid back on. Okay, so here down at the bottom, you'll see Per Super, and you'll see the different heating stages that it has. And here on the back, you'll see there's a little rubber cover over where you plug the power cord in. And here at the very bottom, there's some information about the kettle. So I'm going to show you where the power cord plugs in. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. Again, taking the lid off and adding some water. And you see there's a maximum fill line, so only fill it to that line. And I'll put the lid back on and plug the power cord into the back. And now I'll plug the other end into the outlet in the wall. And now you can see it's lit up at the bottom and ready for us to select our temperature. So you'll see there are many temperature settings. There's um, the milk setting, which is 120, tea, which is 160, coffee, which is 195, and 212 for boiling. And you can see it's going ahead and starting its uh, warming function to get to the boiling stage. You can hear it's starting to boil. And now it has shut off. It has reached its 212 degrees. So let's go ahead and make some coffee with this water. Now we'll go ahead and take some coffee grounds and put it into my drip coffee filter. And now we'll add our hot water. And I'm just letting the hot water seep into the coffee. Oh, this smells wonderful. And there's my cup of coffee. I'm gonna add some cream to it and enjoy.